Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to tell you a wonderful fairy tale. While I am telling you this tale, you can close your eyes and dream. Are we ready? Couldn't hear it. Louder, please. Are we ready? Yes, that's it. Now that you're ready, let's get started. The story of Felix the Fox and Zara the Zebra. Once upon a time, in the heart of a vast savanna, there lived a beautiful zebra named Zara. She had stripes as black as the night sky and a heart as pure as gold. She lived a peaceful life, grazing in the lush green fields and playing with her zebra friends. But one day, something strange happened. A cunning fox named Felix arrived in the savannah. He was new to the area and had a reputation for being sly and mischievous. The other animals in the savannah were wary of him, but Zara decided to give him a chance. She approached Felix and introduced herself. Felix was surprised by her kindness and friendliness, and he decided to return the favor by offering to show Zara around the savannah. Over the next few days, Felix and Zara explored the savannah together. They ran through the fields, played games, and laughed together. Zara realized that Felix was not as bad as the other animals had made him out to be. He was actually quite funny and clever. But as the days went on, Zara noticed that Felix had a tendency to steal things. He would take berries from the birds' nests or honey from the bees' hives. Zara tried to convince him to stop, but he refused to listen. One day, Felix came up with a plan to steal a shiny necklace from the antelopes. Zara knew that this was wrong and she tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. So she decided to take matters into her own hooves. She went to the antelopes and explained what was happening. They were grateful to Zara for warning them, and they decided to set a trap for Felix. The next day, when Felix went to steal the necklace, he was caught in the trap. Felix was ashamed of himself for what he had done, and he realized that he had lost Zara's trust. He didn't know how to make it up to her. But Zara knew just what to do. She went to Felix and forgave him for what he had done. She told him that everyone makes mistakes and that she still valued their friendship. Felix was touched by Zara's kindness and forgiveness. He realized that he had been wrong to steal, and he promised never to do it again. He knew that he had found a true friend in Zara, and he vowed to be a better fox for her. From that day on, Felix and Zara were inseparable. They continued to explore the savannah together, but this time, Felix didn't steal anymore. He had learned that true friendship was worth more than any shiny necklace or stolen food. The other animals in the savanna were amazed by their friendship. They had never seen a zebra and a fox getting along so well before. Zara and Felix had shown them that even the most unlikely of friendships could blossom and that forgiveness and kindness could overcome any obstacle.
And so, the savanna was filled with laughter and joy as Zara and Felix ran through the fields together, their stripes and fur gleaming in the sunlight. They had found a friend in each other, and nothing could ever come between them. In the end, Zara and Felix lived happily ever after, their friendship as strong as ever. And the other animals in the savanna learned an important lesson, that sometimes the best friends can come from the most unexpected places. <laughs>